pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Hallelujah. 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 Come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart. Worship him and magnify his name. Lift up your voice. Make a joyful noise. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be praised. Come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart. Worship him and magnify his name. Lift up your voice. Make a joyful noise. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be praised. Come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart. Worship him and magnify his name. Lift up your voice, make a joyful noise. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be praised. Come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart. Worship him and magnify his name. Lift up your voice, make a joyful noise. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be praised. Lift up your voice. Make a joyful noise. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 As we continue our service, we'll be turning to our opening hymn, Hallelujah. We have an anchor, Hallelujah, that keeps the soul, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life when the clouds unfold their wings of strife? When the strong tides lift and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or firm remain? We have an anchor that keeps the soul set fast and sure by the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move. Grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. It will safely moor till the storms we stand. For it's well secured by the Savior's hand. Though the tempest rage and the wild winds blow, not an angry wave shall abide or flow. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure on the pillars wall. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. Eyes behold through the gathering night the city of gold, a harbor bright. We shall anchor fast by the heavenly shore with the storms all past forevermore. 
We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, it's grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. We have an anchor that keeps the soul. Oh, yes, dead fast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move. It's grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. We have an anchor that keeps the soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Show on the pillars wall, fastened to the rock which cannot move. It's grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure on the pillars wall, fastened to the rock. Which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure. No soul fastened to the rock, which cannot move, grounded firm and deep. In the Savior's love, we have an anchor that keeps us on. It's steadfast, hallelujah. Steadfast and sure, while the billows roll, fastened to the rock which cannot move. Grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. Hallelujah. 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 In times like these, hallelujah. We need an anchor. Hallelujah. In times like these, we need an anchor. Hallelujah. Be very sure. Be very sure, be very sure that your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Praise God. We'll be going to our day's lesson, which is taken from 2 Kings chapter 19, 1 through 37. 2 Kings chapter 19, 1 through 37. And we're asking evangelist Damien Robinson to come and read at this time in Jesus. Have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. The word of the Lord comes to us this morning from the book of 2 Kings chapter 19, and I will read in your hearing. And it came to pass, when King Hezekiah heard it, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliakim, which was over the household of Shebna, the scribe, and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth to Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, And they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and blasphemy. For the children are, are, are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be the Lord thy God will hear all the words of Rabshakeh, whom the king of Assyria, his master, sent, has sent to reproach the living God, and will reprove the words which the Lord thy God hath heard. Wherefore, 
lift up thy prayer for the remnants that are left. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah. And Isaiah said unto them, Thus shall he say to your master, Thus saith the Lord, Be not afraid of the words which thou hast heard, with which the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and shall return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rab Shekeh returned and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish. And when he heard the story, the, they say of Tirkaha, king of Ethiopia, behold, he has come out to fight against thee. He sent his messengers again to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall he speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not thy God, in whom thou, tr thou truest, deceive thee, trusteth deceive thee, sorry, saying, Jerusalem shall not be delivered into the land of the king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the king of Assyria has done to all the lands by destroying them utterly, and shalt thou be delivered. Have the gods of the nations delivered them, which my fathers have destroyed, as Gozen and Haran and Reseph and the children of Eden, which were in Thelshar. Where is the king of Hamath and the king of Arpad and the king of the city of Sepharvaim, of Hena and Iva? And Hezekiah received the letter of the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, which dwelleth between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made heaven and earth. Lord, bow down thine ear and hear. Open, Lord, thine eyes and see, and hear the words of Sennacherib, which hath sent him the reproach of the living God. Of a truth, Lord, the king of Assyria, have destroyed the nations and their lands, and have cast their gods into the fire. For there were no gods, but the work of man's hands, woods and stone. Therefore, they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Lord our God, I beseech thee, save thou us out of this hand, out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God, even thou only. And Isaiah, the son of Amos, sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, that which thou hast prayed to me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have heard. This is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, hath despised thee and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. Whom thou hast reproached and blasphemed, and against whom thou hast exalted thy voice, and lifted up thine eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Israel. By thy messengers thou hast reproached the Lord, and hast said with the multitude, My chariots, I am come up to the height of the mountains and the side of Lebanon, and will cut down the tall cedar trees thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the lodgings of his borders and into the forest of his car Carmel. I have digged and drunk strange waters, and with the sole of my feet I have dried up all the rivers of besieged places. Hast thou not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now I have brought it to pass, and thou shouldest be to lay waste fenced cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power, and they were dismayed and confounded, and they were as the grass of the field, and as the green herb, and as the grasp of the housetops. 
and as corn blasted before it be grown up. But I know thy abode and thy going out and thy coming in and thy rage against me. Because thy rage against me and thy tumult is come up into mine ears, therefore I will put my hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest. And this shall be a sign unto thee. Ye shall eat this year such things as grow themselves and in the second year that which springeth up the same and in the third year ye sow in the third year sow ye and reap and plant vineyards and eat the fruits thereof and the remnant that is escaped out of the, of the house of Judah shall yet again take root downward and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of the mount of Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, saith the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians an hundred fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass as he was worshiping in the house of Nisroth his God that uh, Abram Melech the Shazer and son smote him with the sword and they escaped into the land of Armenia and Esrahodan his son reigned in his stead for I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant's sake my servant David's sake I'll read it again for I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake this is the word of the Lord and we receive it by saying amen We'll receive it by saying amen. He is God in the midst of his people and his word is already blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thanking Evangelist Robinson for reading the morning lesson. Praise God. Just want to greet our Mother Barnes, praise God, and salute our bishop in his absence this morning. Praise God. Continue to pray for him and greetings to everyone. Welcome to our brotherhood service. Praise God here at First United Church. Praise God. And the theme for today's service is the Lord of hosts will fight for you. The Lord of hosts will fight for you. Whatever battles you have this morning. Whatever situation that you have this morning, remember the Lord of hosts, he will fight for you. He will fight for you. Praise God. And at this time, we are going to before that Lord of hosts to pray. Praise God and make our supplication, supplication known unto him. At this time, Ella Wallace will be coming. Praise God with greetings and the prayerless in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord of hosts will fight for you. Praise the Lord. We thank God this morning that this great God that we serve is spared our life to see another day. And he's still fighting our battles. Greetings to everyone in Jesus' name. We have some names on our prayer list. We will continue to pray for our pastor, Bishop Barnes and Mother Barnes. Mother Barnes is here today. Uh, Bishop Barnes is, is unable to be in the house this morning. We'll continue to pray for him and for Mother Barnes and for the entire church family. 
We pray for Elder Muir and Missionary Muir in Jamaica. Pray for Brother Ivan. Pray for Sister Cherry, this evangelist Jennifer Bennett's mom. Continue to pray for her. Uh, Sister Samuels and Sister Carol Samuels and the Samuels family. Sister Carol Samuel uh, lost her uncle. Her uncle died in Canada, and that's the last uncle. So we pray for the Samuels family, Canada, United States, Jamaica, wherever they are located. We pray for the Samuels family. Deacon Spencer also lost his uncle. We pray for Deacon Spencer and the Spencer family, uh, that God will give them strength at this time of bereavement. Evangelist Scarlett lost a brother-in-law in Jamaica. So various families have been affected by death, and we're here t for each other to give the support when it's needed. So we pray for Evangelist Scarlett and her family, uh, the loss uh, after losing her brother-in-law in Jamaica. The Green family in Toronto. We pray for the Green family in Toronto. Sister Pearl Drummond in Hanover, Jamaica West Indies in the hospital. So we pray for Sister Pearl Drummond in Hanover, Jamaica West Indies. We also pray for Overseer Barnes who went to the conference in Florida. And he will be traveling back this week. We pray for Journey in Mercy. God will bring him safely. Sister Ingrid Campbell requesting prayer for her son who got accepted in the army. Uh, also for her granddaughter regarding her eyes. Pray that God will touch her eyes, whatever the need may be, that God will grant the desire, good desires of her heart. We we'll pray for Sister Shelley, Sister Kayla, Evangelist Jennifer Bennett, Missionary Janet Henry. Missionary Shernet Henry, they will be traveling this week and asking for prayer for God's divine protection. God will take them safely and bring them back safely to us. Continue to pray for Sister Perlene Walker. She also lost a family member in Georgia, and we pray for the entire family. We pray for Sister for, for Margaret McKenzie. For Brother Courtney, that's uh, Brother Co Courtney Montague, uh, that's a brother that works uh, in a co courtroom. We pray for him continually as he mourns the passing of his father in Jamaica. We pray for Sister Winsome Miller, who have traveled to Florida. I'm not sure if she's back, but we continue to pray for her. Sister Davis, who will be away for a few weeks, we pray for God to keep her. Pray for, continually for Deacon Wallace in Jamaica, celebrating another birthday yesterday, 98. I spoke with him, I spoke with him yesterday, and uh, he, he said something when I was about to come off the phone. He said, uh, I, I'll be tuning in at 11 o'clock. So he, he's listening, he's watching the service every Sunday. May God bless him, 98. God bless you, Deacon Wallace. Uh, continue to pray for Sister Barbara Falkinson. Pray that God will continue to guide and keep and give strength. Brother Jordan Atkinson will be going to Jamaica on Wednesday for two weeks. So we pray for journey in mercy and for divine protection while he's there and to bring him back safely. Continue to pray for Sister Beverly Grubb who lost her father in the United Kingdom. Sister Alicia Wilson, Missionary Wilson. Continue to pray for Brother O'Brien, who lost his grandmother, Sister Claudette Taylor, who lost her husband, and all those who have lost a loved one. Continue to pray for them. Deacon Lewin, Mother and Daddy Manning, Overseer and Evangelist Falkinson, Adrian Edwards, Mother Marriott, Sister Jackie Fenton and their mother, Missionary Jean Tomlinson, uh, she, has, she has traveled. Uh, saw her on Zoom. She's in Florida. Pray that God will bring her back safely. Missionary Jean Tomlinson, Elder Noel in Edmonton, Canada, Evangelist Williston, Mother White and Brother Robert. They have been away. I'm not sure if they're back. Pray that God will continue to keep them. Bishop D.W. Thompson in Toronto, Canada. Continue to pray for Bishop Thompson. Deacon and Sister Campbell, Sister Vivian Clark, Overseer Ernest Gale, Bishop Samuels in Liberia, Africa. 
Evangelist D. Campbell in the United Kingdom, Bishop Ludlow Miller, Toronto, Canada, Evangelist Ann Christie, who went to Jamaica. Not sure if she's back. Yes, she's, back. she's back. Welcome back. God bless you. Welcome back from Jamaica. Elder Wayne Brown has been away. Uh, pray that God will be with him, bring him back safely, or maybe he's back and I'm not aware of it, but continue to pray for Elder Brown. Missionary Crooks, who is not in church today, continue to pray for Missionary Crooks. Elder and Evangelist Ray Moore, Evangelist C. Morris, Deacon Donaldson, continue to pray for our loved ones, brother and sister Campbell. They have traveled, and of course, she just made a request for her son. Continue to pray for the entire family. For Sister, uh, for Deacon Morris, rather, for Missionary Andrine Bennett, for Mother Bennett, uh, and all the seniors of our church, Sister Lauren Scott, Sister Anna James, Sister Matthew, Evangelist Trevor Grant, Brother Dawes, Brother Wright, Sister Cochran, all the uh, sick and shut in, all those who are members of our church, but they are not able to physically make it into the sanctuary. Let's not forget to keep them on the prayer list and to pray for them. Let's pray for the success of the service. Today is men's day and we're here to praise and magnify God. We trust that the presence of the Lord will fill the sanctuary. That when we leave, we can say it was good to be here. As the moderator make his way back to the podium. Just remember who we serve, the Lord of hosts, who will fight for us. Praise God. Praise God. Let us all stand at this time. Praise God as we join in singing our prayer hymn. Draw me nearer. Hallelujah. And after we sing, we all are going to unite in prayer this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. We'll be doing a united prayer this morning. I 
time lift our voices hallelujah father we thank you lord jesus god we magnify you lord god we glorify your holy and righteous name lord god your name that is above every other name lord jesus that at the name of jesus every knee should bow lord god and every tongue will confess that jesus christ is lord Oh, God, we thank you for this wonderful day, God. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, Lord God. Father, we come before you this morning, Lord Jesus. Just want to tell you thank you for the stars, for the moon, like God, and the setting sun, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for your grace and your mercies, Lord God. We thank you for your loving kindness towards us, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your tender mercies, God. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord God. Morning by morning, God, new mercies we see. And God, all that we have needed, Lord God, your hands are provided, Lord Jesus. And for this, God, this morning, we say thank you for this this morning, Lord God. We appreciate you, God, for this this morning, God. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. And as we come, Lord God, as we gather together, God, in the house of worship, Lord God, to magnify, to glorify, to exalt, God, Lord Jesus, your name, Lord God, I pray for Father, in the name of Jesus, that God, your presence will sit on us today, Lord God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will show up in the house, God, like you never did before, Lord God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will arise, God, with healing in your wings, Lord Jesus. We're praying this morning, Lord God, one for another, Lord God. We've heard the request, Lord God. We've heard, Lord Jesus, what was written on paper, God, and you know, God, what is written in the hearts, Lord Jesus, and as your people come this morning, Lord God, your promise, oh God, to hear us when we pray, Lord Jesus, as we read the scripture, Lord God, the Bible declares that the Lord, hallelujah, will defend the city, Lord God, I pray this morning, Lord Jesus, that he will stand on the behalf of your people once more, Lord God, so many different desires, God, so many different needs, Lord God, that has been brought to you 
this morning, Lord Jesus. Those on the altar, God. Lord Jesus, those at home, God. Those who are sick, Lord Jesus. Those who are going, God, with different destitute of life, Lord God, this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus that God, you will lift up your hands, Lord Jesus. And God, you will bless, Lord Jesus. Oh God, for Lord Jesus, you are faithful, God, forever. Lord Jesus, we pray for healing this morning for those who are sick, Lord God. Lord Jesus, remember, Lord God, our Bishop, Bishop Barnes, in the name of Jesus, this morning, touch him, Lord, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, Lord God. Lord Jesus, our saints, that the names have been read this morning, they're sick, Lord God. Oh God, visit them this morning and give them a miracle, we pray, God, a miracle of healing, a miracle of deliverance, God, a miracle of provision, Lord Jesus, we pray in the name of Jesus, anoint us as we come, Lord God, we lay on on the altar of sacrifice, Lord, and we're asking you, Lord Jesus, to open the windows of heaven, Lord God, and pour out on your people a blessing this morning, a blessing of healing, a blessing of deliverance, God, Lord Jesus, those who are traveling, God, we ask for journeying mercies, Lord Jesus, that God will keep them safe, Lord, go with them, Lord, go before them, Lord Jesus, and every heart desire this morning, according to your will, Lord God, fly every plan of the enemy, Lord Jesus, and every spirit, God, that is unlike you, Lord, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, they will be subjected this morning to the spirit of the living God, in the name of Jesus, that somebody, God, may leave God with the blessing that they seek this morning. Father, have thine own way, Lord God. We look to you, Lord Jesus. Breathe on the choir this morning. Breathe on the musicians this morning. Breathe on the one that should bring for the world. Breathe healing, God. Breathe deliverance this morning, Lord. As we look to you, Father. We look to you, Jesus. We look to you this morning, God. We look to you, Lord God. We look to you, save God. Somebody this morning. Oh God, let somebody cry out for water baptism this morning. Let somebody cry out, God, with the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord Jesus. Have thine own way, we pray. As we look to you this morning, God. We look to you this morning, Jesus. We look to you this morning, God. We look to you, God. We look to you this morning, Jesus. And you have promised God to hear us when we pray. Hallelujah. For this we give you glory. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise, we give to you the honor this morning. We give to you the honor this morning. King of kings, Lord of lords, we give to you the honor and the praise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive deliverance in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. Will fight for you this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands unto the Lord, all ye people. And shout unto God. Hallelujah. With a voice of triumph this morning. Hallelujah. If you're happy to be under the blood this morning, shout hallelujah. If you know the blood has made a difference for you, shout hallelujah. If you know that the blood of Jesus had ransomed you, shout hallelujah. 
Yes, hallelujah. At this time, receive the ministering of our choir in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Worship God as they sing in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Clap and magnify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. could come and heal the little blind man I know I can be made whole by the blood of the Lamb Cover, cover For I'm walking and I'm living Hey God, cover, cover, covered by His blood I'm reminded of the one who had no time Just a little bit of faith and everything was made right Now Jesus, he could come and heal the blind man I know I can be made whole by the blood of the Lamb Covered, covered, covered by his blood For I'm walking and I'm living Praise God, I'm covered, covered. That's for Jesus has risen. Satan has no hold on my life. Oh, for I can speak the name of Jesus Christ. Now the devil still come knocking when he can. But I have been delivered. By the blood of the Lamb, I'm covered, I'm covered, for I'm walking by faith and I'm living in love. Covered, covered, for Jesus, I am not bound by life of sin. Oh, for I have found the peace deep within. The devil still come knocking when he can. Oh, for I have been delivered by the blood of the Lamb. Covered, covered. That's why I'm walking by my faith and I'm living. Praise God, I'm covered, covered. For Jesus, oh, Satan has no hold on my life. For I can speak the name of Jesus Christ. Now, devil still come knocking when he can. Oh, but I have been delivered by the blood of the Lamb. Covered, covered. That's where I'm walking by my head and I'm living. Praise God, I'm covered, covered, covered by His blood. For Jesus, oh yes, praise God, I'm covered, covered. 
for I'm walking by my faith. Oh yes, I'm covered, covered. For oh, Jesus, He has rescued. What day He did, I'm so grateful. He has rescued on the cross for me. Time to set me free. He is rescued. He is rescued. He is rescued. I'm so grateful. Yes, he did it. Didn't deserve it. He's rescued. Hallelujah! Are you covered this morning? Are you covered this morning? Are you covered this morning? Yes, hallelujah! Yes, hallelujah! Oh, he has a rescued! He has a rescued! He has a rescued! He has a rescued! Jesus! Son of the cross! Shed his blood! Jesus has rescued. Jesus has rescued. Jesus has rescued. Jesus has rescued. Jesus has Jesus has Jesus has rescued. 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 Jesus he has rescued Jesus. He has rescued Jesus. As a prince of the blood, Jesus. Yes, he did it. Jesus. Yes, he did it. Jesus. Oh, yes, he did it. Jesus. Oh, yes, he did it. Jesus. She lies. Jesus. She's Jesus. Jesus. She's Jesus. The only saving name. Jesus. The only powerful name. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Jesus, yes, she does. Jesus, what can wash away? Jesus, all of my sin. Jesus, nothing but the blood. Jesus, nothing but the blood. Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Jesus, I love that name. Jesus, I'm not the same. Jesus, because of Jesus. Jesus, because of Jesus. Jesus, because of Jesus. Jesus, it's Jesus. Jesus, it's Jesus. Jesus, 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 call his name, Jesus, call his name, Jesus, call his name, Jesus, call his name, Jesus, deliver it happen, Jesus, break through it happen, Jesus, your healing Jesus, your healing Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, hey, hey. Jesus, oh, 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 oh. Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus. hallelujah, come on and bless that wonderful name, 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 do you remember when he rescued you? Do you remember when he rescued you? Do you remember what he rescued you from? Oh, the blood, all oh, the blood, all oh, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers. Hallelujah. 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 For it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley. It is the blood. It is the blood. It is the blood. 
no other blood could heal my broken body no other blood that could set me free but the precious blood of the spotless lamb the precious blood of the spotless lamb could deliver my sin sick soul we give god glory this morning we give him glory this morning hallelujah hallelujah to god be the glory bless you brothers hallelujah hallelujah put your hands together for brothers this morning hallelujah at this time we are going to receive word of greetings from our men's president hallelujah elder patrick atkinson put your hands together for him as he come in jesus name Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Somebody said, I'm covered. I'm covered by his blood. I've been washed in the blood, sanctified by the Spirit. I'm covered by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. The songwriter said, What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. I'm covered by the blood. I've got the blood on my hand. I've got the blood on my feet. I've got the blood on my head. I've got the blood on my belly. I'm covered all over. By the blood. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. It's such a wonderful feeling to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And I joined with the, the, the Psalms of David said, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the lord is there anybody here you're glad you're glad you're glad you're glad you're glad that you're in the presence of almighty god and in his presence there's fullness of joy at his right hand their pleasures forevermore amen let me greet our pastor and bishop in his absent bishop Barnes, amen, and Lady Mother Barnes is here, amen, happy to greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus, to all our elders, amen, ministers, amen, presidential team, and saints, just want to greet you in the exalted name of Jesus, yes, continue to worship the Lord, yes. do you hear what I said, continue yes. to worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're happy and you know it, shout. If you're happy and you know it, shout. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm glad you're happy. Amen. Hallelujah. It is offering time. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Where we give unto the lord a portion of what he has blessed us with hallelujah we are going to give cheerfully today hallelujah hallelujah as we sing today praise god and give our tithes and our offering in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah those on my far left can you stand follow the direction of the ushers and we have our easter envelopes please collect one for easter offering praise god next week is easter sunday please make sure you get one of this um envelope for our offering next week god bless you in jesus name protection from the Lord above Jesus walks beside me every passing day 
and I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. Yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless love, and I have protection. Jesus walks beside me every passing day, and I know guide me oh yes I'm overshadowed by his boundless love and I have protection from the Lord above Jesus walks beside me every passing day and I know him can we all stand in the middle I'm overshadowed by his boundless love and I have protection from the Lord above. Remember the, the container in the middle is for a speaker's offering in the middle. And I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. The enemy is wasting his time. Daddy Jesus is my guide In his bosom I'll always hide He stand by my side He's my life And when the enemies even my foe Try to kill and eat up my flesh They shall stumble and fall all the time Daddy Jesus is my guide Yes, I'm overshadowed By his boundless love and I have protection from the Lord above. Jesus walks beside me every passing day. And I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. The enemy is wasting his time. Daddy Jesus is my guide. In his bosom I'll always hide. He stand by my side. He's my guide. And when the enemies, even my foe, try to kill and eat up my flesh, they shall stumble and fall all the time. Daddy Jesus is my life. Oh, yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless love. And I have protection from the Lord above Jesus hallelujah every and I know it whoa yes I'm overshadowed by his boundless love and I have protection from the Lord above Jesus walks beside me every passing day and I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. Yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless and I from the Lord above Jesus walks beside me Every passing day, and I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. Yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless love, and I have protection from the Lord above. Jesus walks beside me every passing day. And I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. You can't touch me, you can't hurt me. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. You can't touch me, you can't hurt me. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. You can't touch me, you can't hurt me. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. You can't touch me, you can't hurt me. I am heavy. You can't touch me, you can't hurt me. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. You can't touch me, 
You can't hurt me. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. You can't touch me. You can't hurt me. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. You can't touch me. You can't hurt me. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. You can't touch me. You can't hurt me. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. You can't touch me. You can't hurt me. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. Yes, I'm overshadowed by His boundless love. And I have protection from the Lord above. Jesus walks beside me every passing day. And I know he'll guide me all the way. All the way. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Griffiths. Hallelujah. Bless the offering in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your Hallelujah. goodness. We thank you for your Hallelujah. mercy, God. Yes, we thank Lord. you that Hallelujah. we are indeed covered. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for those who are la- able to bring back into your storehouse. God, I pray that you allow it to be pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Let it go to the furtherance of your work as we give you thanks in Jesus' name. My God, my God. Hallelujah. I have a God. His name is Jesus. I have a God. His name is Jesus. No weapon shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon shall prosper. I have a God. His name is no weapon shall prosper. I have a God. His name is Jesus. No weapon shall One more time. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Weapon form against me. No weapon shall prosper. I have a God. His name is Jesus. No weapon shall prosper. I have a God. His name is Jesus. No weapon shall prosper. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon. No weapon shall prosper. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon. No weapon shall prosper. I have a God. His name is No weapon shall prosper. I have a God. His name is Jesus. No weapon shall prosper. Hallelujah. 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 Do you know that God this morning? Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord of hosts. He will fight for you. At this time, hallelujah. I am going to decrease. Hallelujah. And our speaker for today, praise God, is our own elder Horace Wallace he will be bringing forth so he's coming at this time to do the greetings to do whatever he has to do and bring forth the word of God put your hands together as he come God bless him in Jesus name if I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle victory Victory shall be mine. I said, if I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle. Oh, victory. Somebody said victory. Victory Victory. shall be mine oh victory victory shall be mine oh victory victory shall be mine oh if i hold my peace and let the lord fight my battle oh victory victory shall be mine oh i say victory Victory shall be mine. 
Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. Yes, if I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Victory, victory shall be mine. Oh, I said victory, victory shall be mine. Victory shall be mine if I hold my peace. Let the Lord fight my battles. Victory, victory shall be mine. One more time, yeah. Victory, victory shall be mine. See it again. Victory, victory shall be mine if I hold my peace. Let Jehovah fight your battle. Victory, victory shall be mine. We are more than conqueror. Victory, victory shall be mine. I said victory, victory, victory shall be mine. Oh yeah, if I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Victory shall be mine. Oh, victory. Victory shall be mine. It shall be yours. Victory. Victory shall be mine. It shall be yours. If you hold your peace, let the Lord fight your battle. Victory. Victory shall be mine. Oh, yes, sir. I said a victory. victory. Victory shall be mine. Oh my Lord. Victory. Victory, victory shall be mine. Oh, he fight. If I hold my peace. Oh, let, let the Lord fight my, my battle. Victory. Victory shall be mine. One last time I say victory. victory. Victory shall be mine. It shall be yours. Yes, yes. Victory, victory shall be mine. It shall be yours. If, if I hold, if you hold my your peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conqueror through him that loves us. No weapon formed against God's people will ever prosper. When you have the Lord on your side, you have the majority. One shall chase a thousand, two put ten thousand to fly. We're talking about the power of God. It multiplies. When you think of God's mathematics, one shall chase a thousand. The, the, the average person would think that two would chase two thousand. But one shall chase a thousand. When we talk about God's mathematics, and two shall put ten thousand to fly. We are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I sense a sweet spirit in this place. Where the people of God believe in victory. You don't even want to wait until the battle is over. You want to shout now. Hallelujah. You trust God and believe. That even though you don't see what you're waiting for. But you have hope in him. That it shall come to pass. Jehovah. He is your provider. He is your shield. And defender. He will protect you and he will protect me. Oh Lord. Through our everyday activities. The Lord bless you. 
the Lord bless you. We will continue to worship. Oh, hallelujah. I, I, want to make an, I want to make an announcement, but there is a sense of praise and worship. I sense that there is, there is this urgency to give Jehovah the praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. He's worthy. There's no God but Jehovah. He is from everlasting to everlasting. He spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Who is like unto our God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah is God. Jehovah is God. I dare anyone to try and defy the living God. I dare anyone to come up against my God. Oh Lord. He alone is God. There is none like him. He stretched out the heavens. He held the wind in his face. He came here in flesh in the person of Jesus Christ. And defied gravity. By walking on top of the water. Who is this God? He is the one and only one yes. you cannot replicate him Hallelujah. there is none like him yes. oh lord yes. he is even more than i can express Hallelujah. he's from everlasting yes. to everlasting i'm talking about the most high god i want to get into the text but there is just a sense of praise and worship yes. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Even when we have, have had what we call a bad day, God is still good. Even when things are not going right or not going well with us, God is still worthy. He never ceased to be God. The King Eternal wonderful in wisdom the one by whom all things were made songwriters of the altar of redemption we sing glory to his name what kind of god is this what manner of man is this speaking of when he came in flesh in the presence of jesus christ walking upon the water that even the wind and the wave obey his will somebody said some time ago that the wind and the wave recognize him that this is my maker i better behave myself so when he spoke to the wind and said peace be still nature understood him because he is the creator of all hallelujah when you speak to your children you want them to hear you don't you well, when he speaks to nature, nature better behave itself. And remember, he is the creator. He let the sun shine. He sent the rain yesterday and the sunshine today. Hallelujah! God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I didn't get up to say all of this, but he is worthy. Worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun. And to the going down thereof. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We, we usually acknowledge our visitors and we want to do that. But let me say on, a, on generally. God bless you if you're here for the first time. Welcome yes. to the First United Church of Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Right here in Brooklyn, New York where the pastor is Bishop Leslie Josiah Barnes. We're here to worship and to magnify the creator. So if you're here for the first time. Welcome. We hope that to 
towards the end of the service we can acknowledge you even more but welcome welcome to the house of God hallelujah I have some more announcements I have some more announcements but I'll get to that later I'll bring you attention to the Word of God I bring you attention to the Word of God from the book of 2nd Kings chapter 19 the scripture which was read in your hearing my brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen we're here to talk about the Most High God the men's department greetings in Jesus name from the president to the vice president and all the executive officers to our bishop at home watching the Lord bless you and strengthen and keep you sir greetings to those on YouTube greetings to all of my father's children God bless you in Jesus name the Lord of hosts will fight for you this is the topic they gave me when I read or tried to read the scripture I almost want to sound like the preacher last night in the conference when I look at the scripture I didn't know where to go I mean that I didn't know where to go oh yes he asked his wife I did the same thing I threw that my wife and asked her about this scripture and, and the, the topic. I don't want to say too much because they say less is more. Sometimes you don't want to say too much. But eventually, I, I read it again. I read it again. And then the word began to unfold. And I began to make some notes. The Lord of hosts will fight your battle. Hallelujah. Reflecting, and that's in chapter 19 of 2 Kings. Reflecting on chapter 18. We're looking at Ezekiah. Who started to reign at the age, at age 25. As a king of Judah. He did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord was with him. And he prospered whithersoever he goeth, whithersoever he went forth. While Ezekiah was in his fourth year of reigning, the king of Assyria invaded Israel. He came up against Samaria and besieged it. Then he carried away Israel unto Assyria. After that, the king of Assyria sent men to Ezekiah with a great host against Jerusalem. One of the men that the king of Assyria sent by, uh, sent by the name of Rasheki. I hope I can pronounce his name properly. Rasheki. Yeah. Uh, spoke to the men of Judea saying, that they should speak to Ezekiah. He spoke to the men of Judea. That they should speak to Ezekiah. I'm going to read a little bit from the 18th chapter. We read the lesson from the 19th chapter. Let's look at chapter 18 from verse 19. Chapter 18 verse 19. And Rabshakeh said unto them. Speak ye unto Ezekiah. Thus said the great king, the king of Assyria. When you say the great king, you think about the king of kings, right? The great king, the king of Assyria. Yeah, right. Well, he was a king indeed. But we know a greater king. The king of kings and lord of lords. He's saying uh, the king of Assyria. What confidence is this wherein thou trustest? It's a question. What confidence is this? We know who Hezekiah had confidence in. 
They wanted to know what confidence is this wherein he trusted. Ezekiah had confidence in who? In God. He trusted in the Almighty God. We should trust him. I believe you trust him. And I encourage you, if you're not trusting him enough, you should trust him some more. I trust in God. I know he cares for me. All right. Whether it's on the mountaintop or elsewhere, he cares about us. I wasn't going to continue to sing. Praise the Lord. We should trust in God. Knowing that he's able. And you can fill the blank. Able. Able to provide. Able, able to heal. Able to deliver. Able to set free. He's able to do all that we may ask of him. He's able to deliver. Despite what the enemy may try to do. Let's read from the same chapter. From verse 28 to 29. Let's hear what the word of God is saying. Verse 28. Then Rabshakeh stood and cried with a loud, loud voice in the Jews language and spake saying hear the word of the great king the king of Assyria thus said the king let not Ezekiah deceive you brothers and sisters don't let your co-worker tell you garbage because they have a way, people have a way of yes. saying things about church, you know. Yes, sir. You're, 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 where your pastor taking you to? Where, you know, various things they will say. Yes. Don't let negativity come in your spirit. No, sir. If you know God for yourself, That's right. don't let anyone yes. who don't know God like that yes, put garbage in your head That's true. to turn you away from the truth they have all kind of things to say about church people but then when they fall in trouble they call on the church it makes you wonder which means they know that there's something about us they call on us reverend when they are in trouble what a sad situation and only when you're in trouble you know the church it's for us to know god and have a relationship with him that he we can call on him not only when we're in trouble we will continue to put our trust in him. Thus said the king, let not Ezekiah deceive you. For he shall not able to deliver you out of his hands. He's saying that to the people, Ezekiah can't help you. But it's not Ezekiah. It is God through his lead, the leading of his people. God is able to do that. Yeah, that's what they're saying. And I encourage you. Because you will hear various things. And when we go down to verse 31. Yes, sir, yes. We might read a little bit. We were shouting. We might, we might get back to shouting. But just you hear a little bit what the word of God is saying. Verse 31. Hearken not. not to Hezekiah. They're telling the people. Don't, they're telling the Jewish people. Don't listen. don't listen to your king. Don't listen to your leader. Don't listen. And when we go down to verse 32. Those words that he repeated again. Arken not unto Ezekiah. Discouragement may come. That will tell you all kind of things. But if you have had a relationship with God and it has gotten weak. Well, for whatever reason. I heard you to get back to the place. That no one will whisper in your ears. We have to be careful of the voices that we listen to. Let's be careful of the voices we listen to. Yes, we cannot listen and receive the voice of the enemy. It is important for us to have a personal relationship with God and to listen to and receive only godly advice. I think it's in the book of Proverbs, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not you will receive invitation That's right. you will receive various offers, offers and yes, proposal Everything. all kind of things that may look real good sound good, sound good. Sound good. Yes, sir, sound good. but look on the bright side of life look at the big picture yes. 
what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul put it in the balance and weigh it and see if this is of God the Lord of hosts will fight for you don't be discouraged whatever you're going through continue to trust God let's go over to chapter 19 from the lesson which was read now when it comes chapter 19 when it came to the attention of Ezekiah concerning the words yes he heard concerning the words of Rabsheki Ezekiah sent men to the prophet the prophet Isaiah <laughs> it's good to have a man of God somewhere yes, sir. Yes, sir. he sent men to Isaiah the prophet it is so wonderful to know we can call on a man of God he's somewhere where we can find him it will bring comfort to the hearts when we receive a word from God looking at verse 3 Ezekiah sent words to Isaiah saying, This day is a day of what? Trouble. And of rebu rebu rebuke and blasphemy. Because of course these men were talking against God. Who dare you to speak against my God? God will move when he, he's pleased. And the result might not be wonderful. That's why we must fear him and live for him. A day of trouble. He sent these words to Isaiah. I'm here to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. Let, let's not be pushed. Let's not be pushed off the track. When a, when a train is on the track heading for a destination, an object in its path can cause derailment that's right, that's right. the line must be clear yeah, all right. do not allow any foreign object in your way no, sir, on your Christian pathway yeah. let nothing come in your way to prevent you to hinder you from going where you're going let nothing push you off the, tr off the track by what the enemy may do or say about us and our God because they will speak blasphemy they will speak I try to speak against our God but I dare anyone to speak against God and think that you can get away with it our God is a jealous God there is none like him and he will not tolerate any such behavior we put our trust in him and we know that he will care about us let's trust God at all times. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lead not, Lead not to your own understanding. You don't know it all. We don't know it all. But when we trust in the almighty God. Lead not to our own understanding. In all our ways when we acknowledge him. He will direct our path. In verse 6. Isaiah sent back words to Ezekiah. When we read in chapter 19 verse 6 through 7. He told him something something good let's hear what he said in verse six uh what i really want to bring out is that he said be not afraid be not afraid the enemy may speak swelling words some things may come against you and you feel your back is against the wall and you feel threatened discouragement seems to be set in here but I'm here to encourage you and to remind you that the Lord of hosts, he will fight for you. He said, be not afraid of the words which thou hast heard, with which the servant of the king of Assyria have, have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him. God will do that. He will fight for you. And he shall hear a rumor and shall return to his own land and will cause him to fall by the sword of it in his own land. If I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle, 
Victory. Oh, victory shall be mine. Don't be afraid of the enemy. There is more on our side. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. They can form the weapon, but it will never prosper. Continue to trust in this God, the great God of all the ages. So Rab, Rab Shekhi returned. Of course, he had to go back. He returned. Now, after all that had taken place, the king of Assyria sent messenger again. You, you know, the enemy will press and just keep on pressing determined to come at you but you have to also have such determination to put your trust continually in God after all that took place he sent messenger unto Ezekiah again that's in chapter 19 verse 10 and 11 let's read it hear what it says verse 10 Thus shall he speak to Ezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not thy God, in whom thou trust, deceive you, thee. Good God. You, you, you're, you're messing with God. You're wrong to trouble God. He's saying what? Let not thy God, in whom thou trustest, deceive thee. In other words, he's saying, when you trust God, he is deceiving you. That's what the enemy is whispering in your ears. So you have to have a personal relationship with God to know that God is not deceiving you. The enemy is trying to deceive you from continuing to put your trust in God. Let's trust him despite what the enemy may try to do. Oh God, God is trying to deceive you. Let not... Thy God in whom thou trusted, deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be delivered into the hands of the king of Assyria. Brothers and sisters, let nothing stop you. Behold thou hast heard what the king of Assyria had done to all lands by destroying them utterly. And shall thou be delivered? He saying, if you check the record, what the king of Assyria had done to all the other nations, do you think you're going to escape? That's a threat. And, 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 and it is true because even in the prior of Ezekiah, he mentioned it. He said, of a true Lord, the king of Assyria have destroyed, that's in verse 17, destroy the nations and their land. So it's true. But even though it was so for them, I believe that the Lord is on my side and he will fight for us. That's the kind of conviction we have to have. That the Lord will be with us. We are not saying bad things can, can never happen. But what we are saying is that other people who have experienced some devastating things, we don't have to experience that the lord god of heaven will fight our battles let no one intimidate you let nothing cause you to lose your trust in god these words brethren if you hear these words from some people some great kings and leaders president prime ministers and whoever if you're not careful you become intimidated and start to doubt your God. This story was about a nation. Yeah. For you and you and for me. Yeah. It's not about a nation now. It's individual. It's personal. Whatever it is that we are faced with. Whatever the enemy may try to whisper in your ears. Just remember that the Lord of hosts will fight for you. Keep trusting God like Ezekiah did. When Ezekiah received the letter that was sent by the king of Assyria, 
he went to talk to God about it. Uh, I'm trying to remember the song. Yeah. Tell him all about your trouble. He will hear your faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. By and by. Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your trouble. He will hear your faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. When you feel some kind of fire burning, somebody is praying somewhere. You know that a little fire wheel, little old grandma in her closet somewhere, in a little corner somewhere, they're praying for you. You know a little prayer wheel turning. Just a little talk with Jesus will make it right. So Hezekiah in verse 14, and Hezekiah received the letter up the hand of the messenger and read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. I remember some time ago, I had an experience. One law enforcement officer, <laughs> he gave me a ticket. When you know you're not guilty, it, 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 it boils within. Yeah. I brought it to the Reverend Gary McDonald. And we laid it before God. With, I'm, I'm talking about personal experience. Yeah. In this sanctuary, yeah. we presented to God because he gave me a ticket saying I wasn't wearing a seatbelt. I just pulled the seatbelt in front of the officer in order to go into my pocket to get my documents. But yet he's trying to tell me that I wasn't wearing a seatbelt. I didn't argue with him. I have the Lord on my side. I'll have my day with you in court. In the court. I stood before him in that day. Oh God, I don't know if he was shaking or what. My daughter was a witness. You know, when you have a witness, you don't have the witness inside the courtroom. The witness has to be outside. And then when they're ready for the witness, they call. Because the witness should not be hearing what you are testifying, right? Because you're supposed to tell the truth. And then come and hear what the witness has to say. I didn't need my witness. When I start to talk in the courtroom, I guess I took command of the courtroom. and didn't even realize the tone of my voice. My daughter was on the outside. She said, you were loud. She could hear me because I was upset. Righteous indignation. I think that's what I could call it. Because I know that man was lying. And when I start to question him concerning the neighborhood and where he stopped me, he, he, he was confused, I believe. He didn't know where to go. So I, I stopped him and gave him an education about the community because I know the community. And I reminded him where he was. He was on the sidewalk. How could you stay all the way over there? Past the vehicle that was parked. I, I don't want to make it too much about myself. I want to get back to the word. Past the vehicle that was in the right lane. Past my passenger, the front seat passenger to see me all the way over there. In the left lane. In the driver's seat. In the darkness at night. Without seatbelt. How could you? He couldn't answer. I asked him, did you shine the light in my vehicle when you pull up at my door? He, I guess he was wondering, where is he going with all these questions? Because trust me, I had my day with him in court. If you could see me from so far, why did you have to shine the light when you came to my window? It simply means that it was dark and you couldn't see. I, I had my day with him that day. Yes. Well, if you're lying, you probably can't do that. But when you're telling the truth, you stand up. Because we came, I came and we prayed over that ticket. And we went to the judge. When you have the Lord on your side, you don't have to worry. The judge asked me one question. She said, were you wearing a seatbelt? I said, yes. And then she, she said, I... I I could see the passion. <laughs> it was a lady. She said, I, I could see it because I was stern with him. And she dismissed the ticket. 
Hear me with my crazy self now because how much passion I had. I said, I know you dismissed the ticket, but I wasn't finished. <laughs> and I meant it because I had my notes. I was well prepared for him because there are quite a few things that he had incorrect on that ticket, which I wanted to deal with. So I said to the judge, I know you dismiss it, but I'm I really, I, I wasn't finished. They must be saying, you are a madman. We just dismiss your ticket, just go home. But I, I had some more words even after that. I said, this has to stop. This, the courtroom was silent. My daughter came in and then we left. She said, you were loud. She could hear me from the outside. They didn't need her. But that's when you know you're telling the truth and you have God on your side. You confuse the enemy. No weapon formed against God's people will ever prosper. Trust God and let him have his way with you. Hezekiah prayed down in, and I'm skipping some of the verses. Let me go down to verse 19. Now therefore, verse 19. Now therefore, O Lord our God, I beseech thee, Save thou us out of the hand, out of his hand, that all the kingdom of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God, even thou only. There is only one God. And despite all the, the, the other words, there was big words, swelling words, intimidating words that may come your way. God will be there for you. When you go further down in verse 20, the last few words praise the Lord I have heard Ezekiah he sent word to Ezekiah concerning that that which you have prayed a word from the Lord that which you have prayed the prayer that you have prayed many years ago and you're still waiting for God to do something Word of God is saying, if you have prayed sincerely, he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Come to, the, come to God believing, right? Right. Trust in him. He's saying, I have heard. Don't be discouraged. The Lord will be there for you. So Hezekiah took the defiant letter that demanded Jerusalem surrender. Yes, sir. And as we have read, he spread it out before the Lord and prayed earnestly to him. Amen. When trouble comes into our lives, and circumstances seem out of control. We must do just as Ezekiah did. What he did? Draw near. Oh yeah, somebody said draw near. Draw near, draw near to God. In fervent and trust in prayer. God has promised to deliver his people from the hands of their enemies. And to permit nothing to happen that is out of his will. By clinging to God in trust and faith, we will have his peace. And God our hearts and mind, brothers and sisters, when we trust him. We as believers must do so must be so identified with God we must so identified with him we have been identified with him in death and burial and resurrection identify with God our relationship with God that our main concern is to uphold his reputation and honor can you imagine if the king can you imagine if the prophet Isaiah and all those patriarchs, if they throw, if they are thrown down armed and just give up, surrender, and didn't prove their God, we would have this kind of testimony today. I mean, God would still be God, we know that. But they didn't do that. They put their trust in Him, they depend on Him. He sought the Lord. We need to seek Him. When you and I are faced with trouble, 
we should remember to seek God's help. He is our help. I look to where? To the hills. From whence? Come at my what? My help coming from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. He is our help. He is the one whom we look to concerning our needs. There are some things that we cannot fix on our own. We need God to fix it for us. One songwriter said, let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do. Whenever you pray, let the Lord have his way. Let Jesus, let him fix it for you. Now when we go to God, let's not try to trick God because we can. Let's, that's right. Let's be truthful. Let's be sincere and tell him like it is. In fact, he knows everything. We can't hide from him. He knows if we are troubled. He knows if we are burdened down. He knows if we are fearful. If you're filled with fear, he knows that. If we are nervous, he knows. I don't think I was nervous in the courtroom that day. I think the cop probably was. He knows what you go through. If you are anxious, if you're filled with an anxiety, he knows if we are worrying about it. You're troubled about it. The burdens are so heavy. He knows if you're losing sleep over it. You go to your bed and you cannot sleep. Whether it's your children, whether it's your marital relationship, whether it's your parents, whatever it may be. He knows what you're going through. Let Jesus uh, fix it for you. He knows everything. Just present it to him and ask him for help. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to throw up your hands and say, Lord, help me. Because I don't know where to go from here. Cry unto the Lord. I told you, I, remind, I said it earlier and I remind you. There are some things that we go through. We really just can't handle it. We don't know how to deal with it. But God can fix it. Let Jesus fix it for you. You cannot handle it. He is our refuge and strength. Very present help in trouble. According to Psalm 46 and verse 1. Yes, he's our refuge and strength. In the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Psalm 27 and verse 5. I said he shall set me up upon a rock. Songwriter said, rock of ages. Rock of ages. Cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. And seeing that. We are going to hide ourselves in him. For you and I to hide ourselves in him. He has to allow it. Amen. Hear me good. If we are going to hide in him. He has to allow it to happen. We have faith and believe that we can hide in him. But he has to do that. Then this brings me to another song. Oh he hided my soul. Hallelujah. In the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry thirsty land. Who did it? He did it. He hid it, my soul. I want to be hidden. I want to be taken care of. So I said, rock of ages, cleft for me. He has to create that spot for me, that cleft. Right? So you can go into it. He has to do it. We can't do it on our own. We can't make it on our own. Rock of ages, I'm asking you cleft for me make that space so i can hide he hided my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry thirsty land he hided my life in the depths of his love and covers me there with his hands he covers me there with his hands divine protection for you 
divine protection for me the Lord will fight your battles despite what the enemy may throw at you in your home demand that territory demand that no plan of the enemy will come to fruition the word of the Lord I can't do deal with everything can't give you everything in one day read it for yourself when you get a chance can't touch this city you cannot come here you come one way you fly go back the same way when God's protection is there for you doesn't matter what they may try doesn't matter what they may say or do you cannot succeed continue to look to Jesus and live somebody said here is life for a look at the crucified one not a songwriter said look and live my brother live look to Jesus now and live it's recorded in his word hallelujah it's only that you look and live oh look and live my brother live look to Jesus now help me choir it's recorded in his words who oh, it is only that you look and live. The Lord of hosts will fight for you. Put your trust in him. Look to Jesus. Oh, it's recorded. Oh, it is holy. Look and live. It will not kill you. It will not kill you. Look to Jesus now and live. It's recorded. It's recorded in his word. Hallelujah. Oh, it is holy that you live. As you continue. As you continue, but just bring it down. If you're here today. And you're going through whatever you're going through. You didn't even tell anybody about it. You are even afraid to talk about it. Discouragement seems to be setting in. I'm talking about even if you're saved. Church people have problems too. You're faced with struggles. We're not asking you to tell us your business. But if there's one to be prayed for, Hallelujah. and even if you desire to sheer just the subject matter but not in detail, that's all right because God knows what you need. If there is one to be prayed for, if it's con about your job, if, if it's concerning your job, if it's concerning your family, if it's concerning your health, whatever it may be, something that's bothering you you're burdened down you're carrying this load it could be something that seems to be intimidating it's quite challenging you really don't know what to do you're confused about it you can't sleep at night it's a burden hurt as no sorrow that heaven cannot kill look to Jesus and present it to him Ezekiah brought the letter before the Lord presented it unto him the situation that you're going through we won't deny the fact that it exists yes Lord if you're sick in the body and it's cancer yes Lord they say it's cancer we are not going to deny that the doctor said it's cancer. But Lord, I present it to you. I'm troubled by it. I'm burdened down. It's a heavy load. And I'm losing sleep over it. It seems as if I'm even losing my mind over it. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there let Jesus fix it for you 
Look and live. Look and live. My brother lives. Look to Jesus now. Look to Jesus now. And live. Oh, it's recorded. In his word. Hallelujah. Oh, it is holy. That you look and live. And live. Oh, look, look and live. live. Look to Jesus. Let him fight your battle. The battle with your health. Your financial situation. relationship the relationship with your children whatever it may be look to Jesus oh it is holy that you look and live Look to Jesus now It's recorded It's recorded in his word Hallelujah Oh it is only that you look and live Look and live My brother live Continue to trust him Look to Jesus now and live Recorded in his words. Hallelujah. Only that you look. Look to the hills from whence come your help. God is our help. He is the most high God. Oh, it is holy that you look. And live. Look and live, my brother live. Look to Jesus now and live. Who oh, is recorded in His word? Hallelujah! It is only that you look and live. Look and live, my brother live. You look and live. Look and live. Look and live. My brother live. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus now and live. Oh, it's recorded. It is worth. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and live. One more time, yes, look and live. My brother live. It's recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and live is recorded in his word hallelujah it is only that you look and live it is only Tell it 
to him. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. It's recorded in Jesus alone. Oh yeah. It is only that you love. One more time. It is only. It is only that you love. And live. Why don't you just tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He is. He is a friend that's well known. No other. You have no other. No such a friend or brother. Such a friend or brother. Just tell it to Jesus alone. Oh, tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Tell, tell it to Jesus. Jesus. He is a friend that will know. You have. You have no other. Such a friend or brother. Just tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus alone. Oh, tell it to him. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He is. none other like him you, you have, have no, no other, other such, such a friend, friend or a brother, brother. tell it to, to Jesus, Jesus alone. just one more time just one more time as we close tell, tell it to Jesus, it to Jesus. oh why won't you tell, tell it, it to, to Jesus, Jesus. He, he is a, a friend, friend that's that we know. Oh, you, you have no have other, no other such, such a friend or brother. brother. Tell, Tell it to Jesus to alone. Jesus alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have no other. Such a friend or brother. Just tell it to Jesus alone. As you have come. And as you have presented your burden, your trouble, your situation to the Lord. Leave believing. That he heard. As the Lord. Would have a word from the prophet. Back to the king saying, I have heard. Leave believing that the Lord heard you. He heard your cry. As you have made your petition known unto him. Walk with faith. Walk having faith that your needs have been met. The Lord bless you. As you are encouraged to continue to put your trust in him. Tell it to Jesus alone. And, and if you're here and you don't know the Lord as your savior. You don't have a personal relationship with him. You haven't yet been baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. We don't want to close the service without giving such invitation that if you need salvation, if you need water baptism in the name of Jesus, 
baptizers are ready and we will baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus for the remission of your sin if there is one you can come to the Lord if you're a backslider you need to be reclaimed you need to come back to the Lord Jesus the invitation is there for you we extend an invitation to you before we close give it to Jesus tell it to Jesus let him handle it tell it to Jesus hello you have no other you have no other such a friend a brother tell it to Jesus hello hallelujah praise the Lord we give God thanks for the service today we thank God for his word his word that he will fight our battles the battle is not yours it's the Lord's that's a song I'll never try to to think that I can ever master but the words are powerful it's not yours it's the Lord's battle trust in him and he will work it out for you God bless each and every one of you God bless you father we thank you for this day we ask your blessings upon each and every one of us your people guide us continually let your people be encouraged let your people be strengthened I trust so oh God in you in the behalf of all of us your people that our faith will grow stronger with thee Hallelujah. despite what may come our way Hallelujah. we know that you are still in control be with us Lord God and as we are about to go but not from your presence Hallelujah. guide us and take us home safely and bring us back into your house to continue to praise and to worship you in the beauty of holiness bless us all I pray Hallelujah. in Jesus name Hallelujah. amen and amen praise the Lord praise God God bless you may be seated for a few minutes uh, Missionary Lou is going to come for the announcement, but just before she comes. Yeah, just before Missionary Lou, just uh, some things that I didn't get to uh, take care of. As you have seen, the way we were worshiping God, I didn't want to break the worship to do it. Uh, and I'm glad that the people of God can feel free to worship God. I didn't have to pump you. When it's there, it is there. And at the same time, when it's time to go, I won't weary your patience. <laughs> Let me quickly do whatever I have to do. Praise God. Uh, some folks are traveling. Some folks are traveling. Missionary Cherry Anderson will be traveling to Liberia, Africa on Wednesday. So we will be praying for her. Uh, Brother Jordan will be traveling to Jamaica. We'll be praying for him. And I'm looking for him. Brother Hyber Stephen. Oh, he's up here. Where? Okay, he's so quiet behind here. I'm looking down there for him. Brother Hyver Stephen, uh, what can I say about this one? Praise the Lord. Uh, I just found out about it. He will be relocating. He will be leaving to North Carolina this week. So we will be praying for him and his wife, sister uh, Stephen. So both of them, they will be relocating. Um, you notice I, I dealt with Sister Cherry going because she's going to come back. I mean, I believe he will come back too, but she's not relocating. But Jordan is not relocating. But when it comes to this, you notice I pause. Yeah, so he will be relocating. And we understand uh, he's going, uh, your children are, your daughter, your children, they're, they're down there. And I think when you get to a certain age, you need to be close to your children. Uh, I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> but we understand and we were praying for him so they will be traveling um, Deacon Trevor A also is requesting prayer for his, his eyes right so while we, you come at the same time while we're praying for these folks who will be traveling we also pray for Deacon uh, Trevor A for his eyes um, just looking and to remind you next week Sunday is Easter Sunday Right? Today is what they call Palm Sunday, right? Yes, Next week, Sunday, will be Easter Sunday. And the envelopes were given out. And if you didn't get one, you can still get one for next week, Sunday offering, your gift. You can uh, take an envelope for that. Uh, and Friday, this Friday is what? Say it again. 
All right. So this Friday is Good Friday. And um, we have service beginning at noon to about 2 p.m. thereabout. So this Friday, come in. This Friday, in the sanctuary, yes. This Friday, uh, Good Friday service in the sanctuary. So, of course, um, for those who know already, the ministerial um, body, we can assemble right after church. We, we will have a talk before, before we leave. We will take care of some things. Uh, Bishop is not here, and he instructs us as to what to be taken care of. So, just want you to know that Ella Wallace is not doing things on his own. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. So, Bishop is quite aware of what we are doing. And as I told you, next week is Easter Sunday. This Friday is Good Friday. Um, we, so let's, do, let's do the prayer now. Let's pray for those who are traveling. Let's pray for them. And, and, and while they're coming, if we have any first-time visitors, just let me see by the raising of your hand. I know I did acknowledge in general, but I didn't identify. If there's a first time, God bless you. Can you just stand? We won't scare you. <laughs> Is there another? First time visitors. God bless you as, they, as they're coming. God bless you. No, that's okay. That's Shelly's daughter. All right. No, remain standing. Can you just tell us your name and where you're from? From Brooklyn? God bless you. On the behalf of our pastor in his absence and the entire membership of First United, we welcome you in the house of the Lord today. We trust that your heart is richly blessed and we trust that we have made an impact on you that you will have the desire to come back and worship the Lord with us. God bless you. You're welcome. Yes, and all those who were traveling, uh, see, uh, Sister Shirley, Sister Janet, and yes, yeah, Sister Shelley, all those, the names that I may mention uh, traveling, uh, come at this time as we pray God's protection and pray for Deacon A for his eye. Elder Kenneth Wright will lead us in this prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's bow heads, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we honor you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. We thank you for these dear children who be traveling, Lord. Oh, God, the airways. Lord, the, the, the vehicle that should bring them to the airport. Lord, I pray for special covering. Lord God Almighty, as they board the plane to their destination, Lord God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus that you travel with them, Lord. You be the pilot of the plane, Lord. And when they landed at their destination, God, even the vehicle that should pick them up, Lord, I pray for divine covering. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray a special prayer for Brother Stevens and his wife relocating, Lord, to North Carolina. In the name of Jesus, as they go, God, I pray you go with them, Lord. Surround them with your love. Surround them with your grace. Lord, let your divine will be done. Lord Jesus Christ, those who are traveling to Jamaica, Lord, missionary Anderson traveling to Liberia, West Africa, far away from us, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you go with her, Lord. Sit with her, Lord God Almighty, that she attend the convocation in Liberia. Lord Jesus, let your divine will be done. We pray for divine covering, Lord Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you bring them back safely to us, Lord God. We commit them into your hand. Let your divine will be done. Thank you, Lord God, for protection. Thank you for protecting them in their going out and their coming in. We commit them into your hands as we say thanks in Jesus name Amen and Amen Oh precious name Yes that's right Take the name of Jesus with you Oh how sweet Hope of heard Hope of earth And joy of heaven Joy of The precious precious name praise the lord one more item i have to take care of then missionary lose will be coming but before i do this okay i will make a switch so that the announcement can go 
through also for those who are watching by the way of internet. So we'll do the announcement now. Yes, thank you. Because we have the YouTube uh, listeners, uh, members who are at home and they're watching and they probably want to be reminded of some events. So we'll do it now. And then after you do the announcement, we will ask those in uh, mission control to turn off the internet. Turn off the internet and I'll be making an announcement. Praise the Lord, saints. Bless the Lord, saints. What a presence of the Lord in the house today. Greet our bishop. I'm sure he's online. Mother Barnes and each and every one in their respective places. We greet our online viewers and the brethren who were not able to make it into the sanctuary today. And we know that this service has been a blessing yeah. to you. So let us know. Give us a call, 718-756-6760. You could send us an email at our email address, info at jesusnow.org. You could fill out the contact us form on our website, which is www.jesusnow.org. And the Zoom platform will continue to be utilized for some of our weekday services. Wednesday, we have prayer service at 7 o'clock, followed by our Bible study at 7.30. We are in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 7. And for those who are not on Bible study, you need to join. You need to tune in. Yeah. My God and mercy, the Bible study has been so rich. Praise the Lord. On Thursday, we have prayer and fasting service at 11 a.m. Friday evening, youth service in the sanctuary at 7.30. On Sunday morning, we are in the sanctuary for our Sunday school, which begins at 10 a.m., followed by our worship service. The topic of our Sunday school lesson this Sunday, the glorious gospel. The focus verse is St. John 3, 16 and 17. The lesson text, St. John 3, 16 and 17. The truth about God is that God loved us so much that he gave himself for us. And as we heard, Sunday is Easter Sunday, and usually on Easter Sunday we wear white. But if you don't have your white, you wear what you have. And come, let us worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Amen? But wear white if you do have it. Praise the Lord. These, uh, these brethren, you are asked, please to meet with our evangelist Shelley Williams at the poolside immediately after the service. Uh, missionary Debbie Bertram, missionary Melissa McDonald, missionary Gloria Wallace, missionary Naomi Miller, sister Leticia Signibo, and all guidance counselors that work in the school system and all other personnel within the educational system of New York. Praise the Lord. Please meet in the pool area. Um, I do believe the officers of the women's department, you still want to meet with the ladies. So we'll have to meet on this side. All the ladies, please meet immediately after service for a few minutes. We have ministerial training. It resumes tomorrow evening at 7.30. It's on the AFMI Zoom link, 901-770-7968. Please Officers, we're asking you to join in with the ministerial training tomorrow evening at 7.30. No passcode is required. And I do believe the Women's Book Club, they are meeting also tomorrow evening. They are looking at chapter 26 of the book. On Thursday, we do have combined choir rehearsal at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock on Thursday, the combined choir will be in rehearsal. And praise the Lord. We are preparing for annual choir anniversary. This has been about four years. Praise the Lord. Since COVID, we have not had it. So we are looking forward to our annual choir anniversary, which will be the 14th of April. Men's conference, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The men's conference 2024, right here at First United. Amen. I don't hear the men. Amen, amen. Building on the foundation, preserving our heritage. Praise God. The 5th of April through to the 7th, that's the week after next, and we're looking for a wonderful time in the Lord. And on Sunday, you don't have to go back home because they will be preparing dinner at a very minimal cost because Sunday, uh, the service will be beginning at 6 o'clock, so no need to go home. Praise God. It's a minimal cost, so let's support our men. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Apostolic Faith National Youth Ministry. I don't hear the youth. 
All right now. Praise God. Youth Retreat 2024. Yeah. Amen. Their theme, Stay on Track. April, the 25th of April through to the 27th. And they will be going to the Evangelical Christian Center in Connecticut. And the facilitator will be Pastor Jasset McKenzie. They're looking at Daniel 6, verse 10. First United Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic Youth Weekend. Woo! Youth Weekend, the 3rd of May through to the 5th. And their topic, Catch the Vision. Praise God. And they're going to be looking at Habakkuk 2, 1 through 4, and 2 Kings 6, 11 through 18. Praise God. The women's retreat. I don't hear the women. What's going on here? <laughs> My Lord. Women's retreat 2024. Ashford, Connecticut. Praise God. The 6th of June through to the 8th. The cost is two hundred and thirty dollars oh the the youth retreat is also 230 dollars please see the officers of these departments praise the lord our 60th pastoral anniversary banquet amen we are coming to celebrate this 60 years my goodness Praise God, praise God. It convenes during our convocation. It will be on the 11th of September through to the 15th will be our convocation. And so on the Friday night, the 13th, we will be going to Floral Terrace. Praise God for the banquet. And there is a table. I don't know if it was set up today, but we're taking the names and we are taking payments. And we the cutoff date is the 31st of July. So... Please be on time, otherwise you will be left behind. Bethel United Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic, 20 South Kemp Road, Jamaica and West Indies, their 54th Holy Convocation, 2024, Monday the 1st of April through to Sunday the 7th, and their theme, the Holy Ghost in the Church, Awakening Our Spiritual Gifts, Manifesting God's Power. They'll be looking at Acts 2, 1 through 4, and 1 Corinthians 12, 1 through 11. International Apostolic Ministries, Waterloo, Santa Cruz in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, West Indies, uh, our presiding bishop, Agri Scott. They will be having the 33rd annual Easter Convocation. It convenes on Friday the 29th of March through Monday the 1st, and their topic, Write the Vision pressed into destiny they also are looking at Habakkuk 2 1 through 3 and Philippians 3 13 through 14 praise the Lord Jesus and this letter is from the gospel tabernacle church of Jesus Christ they are at Snyder Avenue they're having their annual youth retreat Friday the 5th of April through to the 7th I do believe we have refreshments on sale and we're asking for your support God bless you all. Have a wonderful week in the Lord. There is, there's one more announcement that I, I'll give Sister Missionary Lewis after. I didn't want to just give it to her last minute, so I, I'll do it and then I'll give it to her. For Lighthouse Apostolic Queens, the, the men and women's meeting, Saturday, April the 3rd, um, April the 13th rather, to the 14th, that's Saturday, April the 13th to Sunday the 14th this year, 2024. Saturday night, uh, ladies night, all white. That's Saturday night, the 13th of April. Ladies all white and Sunday is for the men. So this information I will... Saturday all day, ladies day. And it's uh, all white, all white in the night only, I would believe. In the night, Saturday night, it's all white. I didn't get information for the men, but it's on Sunday, men in charge on Sunday. So that's Saturday the 13th of April, and Sunday the 14th. Men and women's meeting in Queens, that's Overseer Ernest Gale, the pastor. Praise the Lord. And I'll give Missionary Lewis this information. So the, the announcement which I'm about to make, because I don't